and just look at this one. So whoever set fire to this wasn't happy with the uh, the car park charges or did they get a ticket? So there we go, we've got another little robot. So we got one or a couple just near the Argentine Casino and this is a different one. And good morning, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we've popped over to Cleveland because this is an absolutely amazing place with the stunning views and the little tiny shops. It's a really great go-to place to visit. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a quick look at some of the amazing views and have a look around the town centre, see what's changed and what's new. So come and join me on this bit of an adventure. place to start than the uh, the sea just look at these are wonderful views it's very very early in the morning it's about 25 past seven and it's got like that misty eeriness about it and all you can hear is a few seagulls and a few dog walkers at this time in the morning but it's really great just to take in the uh, the amazing views and you can see someone's uh, sawing some wood on his uh, using it for a bit of a uh, his log fiber yeah what a what a great view so yeah i was gonna have a bit of a walk along the uh, the beach because it's uh this is one of my favorite ones cleveland's i mean blackpool is lovely in golden sands but in cleveland's you've got a mixture of all sorts you know you've got these fantastic rocks you know you can just take the pictures and you got the pebbles you got all sorts and uh, just sort of move the camera around to the uh, the right and you see that's the views from some of the houses See some houses just sort of peering over. Oh, what fantastic views they'll have all year round. Just imagine a, a choppy sea and that storm of thunder and lightning. Just imagine like looking out to sea and just seeing that right on your doorstep. You can just see the, uh, the the houses, bungalows just over there. Amazing. So what we're going to do? There is some work being done on this little clock tower right at the uh, the top of the town. And we're gonna go up these stairs and we're gonna have a, a quick look because there's some renovation work going on with this one. And it's a wonderful little tower, like a little clock tower, shall I say. And like I said, these are gonna be uh, some work being carried out. But this is just the uh, the, uh, the views of Cleveland's seafront. And how magnificent is this? Just look at that. Wow. So this is the, uh, the little clock tower and how lovely does this one look and like I said this is, uh, I'm not too sure if there's going to be regeneration work or it's been carried out so I'd imagine, I mean they did say it's going to get carried out um, very shortly, you see the little clock tower just at the top there and um, what, uh, what a lovely thing, I like they've got little benches in there and you can sit, you know, have your, have your coffee, have your picnic and that's certainly a, a lovely attraction uh, to Cleveland, is that one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a walk a little further into town. And you can see they've got quite a few little, little two little arcades. So they've got, you know, first of all, you've got your, your family fun. Uh, but Cleveland is more of a, a, like I said, a gentle stroll, just taking in, you know, the amazing little shops actually all the uh, all the little shops i mean yeah they've got the uh, the second hand shops and uh, the little cafes they've got cleveland's kitchen they've got all sorts around this is like the cafe marina another great one and let's just pan the camera over to the uh, the right hand the left hand side you see we've got here uh, the cleveland's kitchen great fish and chips and do some fantastic meals now as well and you can pick them up for like sort of seven pounds for a smaller portion, which is fantastic. You know, if you're not a huge eater on something quick and light. But yeah, this is uh, this is Cleveland's town centre, and like I said, the uh, they do all sorts of little things. The uh, the residents in Cleveland, you see all these little handmade gestures, which pop on the uh, 
the little posts and these go all along so in Christmas time I mean, look at that you know it's all sort of knitted by hand and all sort of uh, all donated for Cleveland's and even uh, on the uh, look at this on the letterbox there's even something to do with Halloween which is uh, which is great. Like I said, you've got all the little shops up here and it's such a nice, pleasant walk. And let's just have a look. I mean, like I said, you put these in other sort of towns and cities, these, these wouldn't be here. They'll be swiped. But Cleveland's, look at that. I mean, you probably go to a shop and you spend a load of money on something like that. But look, you can see, look at that, he's still here. And uh, like I said, all these are, are kindly donated by the uh, by the residents and the people of Cleveland. And you also you can see all these little like flower boxes. So this is what Blackpool misses. Just whip around the uh, little falls. So all these little wonderful flower boxes. And uh, you can see it's all created and looked after by Care for Cleveland. See the sign there. And like I said, they've got many of these like pots and little uh, holders, which Blackpool misses sadly. They misses a little bit of greenery. You see they've got little palm trees and all sorts in Cleveland. See again, you've got all these, I mean, like, huge pot that one is. And again, like I said, you know, you're just walking down the, uh, the high street. And you can see, like I said, the, the palm trees, you know, if Blackpool Council watch this video, get something like this in Blackpool, you're missing it. You're missing that green. You certainly are. You know, it's, it's not a lot of money. Get it set up. I'm sure there's charities out there who will be, uh, you know, willing to maintain the, uh, the pots and the displays. So yeah, certainly have a look at getting that bit of green back into Blackpool Seafront. So directly in front, this used to be home to Wilkinson's, Wilkinson's. And you can see now it's called Mill Stores. So they've taken it over and it's very, very similar to, uh, to Wilkinson's. And you see the, the sort of the things, there. a few more sort of clothes and things like that, which Wilkinson's didn't sell, but also they sell all the, uh, the accessories. Look at that. We've even got Christmas tree displays now on display and we haven't had um, bonfire night so you see the uh, the christmas things already lined up in the windows ready to uh, ready so we've got the tin tinsel we've got all sorts so yeah if you want to grab your bargains early when you do live in cleveland get to this uh, get to this place because you always uh, always find you spend more when it becomes near christmas and you can see the uh, it's always good to have little independent shops. Now that, that little electrical shop's been there for years. We've got a little barber shop, little uh, little cafes. And yeah, that, that one there directly in front has been there for years and years, that electrical shop. And it's great to see little independent ones dotted about. So we come into the uh, the top of Victoria Road East, and across the road, so there's, there was also a word, forgot to mention there's a tram line, so you can grab a tram if you do fancy visiting, you know, somewhere a little different from Blackpool. You can grab a tram all the way from Stargate all the way um, to Fleetwood, and like I said, it does drop you off in Cleveland, so you can get a return tram or the buses up here and just spend an afternoon in. Uh, in Cleveland. Like I said, it's a, a really nice place and there's a lot of thought and effort um, has gone into uh, to Cleveland. And they've also got a little spot to, uh, to remember the fallen, uh, which I'll show you momentarily. But you can see, you know, all along, all these like little wonderful hats, you know, the, the, the effort what has gone in 
by the locals and the charities. It's really amazing. And this is a this is always a wonderful little place. Like I said, uh, you know, everyone gathers here, especially the 11th of November, to, uh, to remember. And like I said, they've even uh, got a dedicated benches. So you can just sit down, gather your thoughts, if you have lost that, someone special um, in the war. So yeah, like I said, the, uh, the tram lines run parallel to the uh, to the, uh, the promenade and you can see this is where they come and you get dropped off just a little uh, little stop a little bit further down so this is like the uh, the four corners of Cleves where all the uh, main roads meet and you see on each of these corners there used to be a bank and sadly you know with the, the bank closures they now become uh, different shops like that one straight opposite is like an ex catalogue shop now. So, yeah, all of these corners used to be banks, and there's only one left, which is at Nat West. And uh, like I said, you know, all the sadly, all the banks are closing the doors and uh, going to online. So, we're just gonna have to move on a little bit, a little bit more. You can see all these, uh, these little tiny shops, you know, all independent, you know, like huge retail chain obviously apart from like William Hills but yeah they're all little little independent ones which is uh which is great and there's also uh like I said you got all the other uh, pubs up here they got a uh, tramways if it's uh, been renamed and you can smell like a burning in the air this morning it's like a it's a strange smell it's, uh, I think there's uh, quite a few Fireworks were let off yesterday. It's probably sort of lingering in the air. And uh, looks like this one's new. Backstage, that's uh, quite a recent one since I've, uh, unless I just renamed it and uh, tarted it up at that little bit more. But yeah, another, another little pub looks like on the corner. Look at this one. They even got a little cast ale just on the, uh, there, I wonder, if, uh, I wonder if it works. I wonder if it's like a, a sample one. Look at that. Yeah, try the sample before you buy. But yeah, so I think what we're going to do, we're going to go as far as tramways and we'll, uh, we'll head on. So I think what we're going to do, we'll have a, a bit of a drive around Cleveland for uh, a look at the, uh, the property in this area. And you see there, just opposite, you've got the, uh, the KOC, you've got your weather spoons. That's always a, always a great one, the weather spoons. So like I said, you know, it's even open now, look at that. See people going in there, probably grabbing their uh, their coffee and the breakfast. Yes, yeah, so they're uh, they're open now. So yeah, like I said, there's, there's plenty of little shops and all sorts um, up this area. And there's also, uh, I think it's the uh, the Victoria. I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's that, but there's a pub, and they're trying to find a landlord because it's been closed down for many years. So it's a little out of the way. But again, it's, you know, it's a, it's a great old building. So we'll go and have a, a quick look at that one. So this one, it's still named the Tramway. And uh, they used to, and I've been here for, uh, for many years, but they used to do some fantastic food here. The car is really nice. And they had sort of plenty of entertainment. They had little marquees and all sorts back in the day in the car park. And you can see, it could do with a bit of TLC. You see the, uh, the paint flickering off and it certainly could do with a, a bit of a rub down and a bit of a a bit of love on this building but yeah this used to be an absolutely fantastic place to, uh, to spend your Sunday and have that wonderful wonderful carvery so like I said I ain't been here for a, for quite a bit so if you have been here recently let me know what it's like in the comments if it's still worth that visit but yeah it used to be a, a fantastic little pub and there you go you can even treat yourself to a sticky toffee sponge cake look at that it looks tempting so we're just having a, a little look around the victoria hotel because i believe they was trying to find a landlord or a landlady to run this pub so i'm not too sure if they found anybody but yeah this is a, a fantastic building I'll have a quick look around but yeah they was trying to find somebody to run it and it's an amazing building 
but it's just a little bit too far out. But let's go and have a, a bit of a look. So yeah, this is the, uh, the Victoria Hotel, and uh, I'll pop the, uh, a picture in the uh, in a moment. But they are still looking for somebody to run this. There's a little sign in the window, which is directly there. And like I said, I'll pop that in. There's a cell phone number. You can give them a ring if you do fancy running your own pub. And what a building. Absolutely stunning. So this is just on North Drive. And like I said, what a, what a lovely building. It's massive. You know, imagine the, uh, the entertainment you could put on. You know, you could sort of hire it out for weddings and receptions. And it's certainly a huge building. And like I said, it looks in really nice condition. It's like I said, if you do fancy running your own pub, and then uh, dial that number, give them a ring, because they are wanting somebody, uh, more or less straight away, to run this fantastic place. So I had to stop just walking back and look at this chimney. Wow. Have you ever seen a chimney like that on a bungalow? Look at that. That is, uh, that's amazing. So I hope you're enjoying this uh, video so far. Like I said, it's amazing what you do find when you look around areas. And Cleveland is, uh, is not alone. It's absolutely fantastic. It's amazing houses, amazing little shops, and just amazing little uh, place to visit. So everything will be in the description about you know what Cleveland offers and also that pub. Like I say, if you do fancy a bit of a challenge, I know it's a bit of a dying trade, but you know, you could make that something very, very special. So I'll pop the link in the description also for that one. And yeah, so I think what we're going to do, we'll head back towards the car and we're going to have a bit of a drive around Cleveland because there's some magnificent properties and some great views. So yeah, uh, like I said, we'll head back, jump in the car and we'll have a, a bit of a drive around. So we just stopped at Cleveland's Select Car Group. So basically it's a garage in Cleveland. And I covered a, uh, a huge fire that had, I think it was like three or four cars, very, very badly damaged, complete write-offs. And you can see where the fire was. It was right in front of this orange car. You can still see the remnants of that fire, and it was really bad. Uh, like I said, I've covered that in a video, so I'll pop that in the uh, in the uh, in the description. And like I said, there was a huge fire right where I'm standing. So like I said, I'll pop that in the uh, in the description. Like I said, we uh, we covered that one. So just before we uh, jump back in the car and see this, uh, used to be a nursing home, huge, huge, great nursing home. And it was left uh, dormant for quite a long time. And it was all uh, fenced off, there was work going on. There was all sorts, you know, builders, workmen. And it looks like everything's been cleared out now. But you can see this, you know, it's just all just been like abandoned the project. You can see the, uh, the roof there. Look at that. It's all like crumbled away. And it looks like it's just been completely left now. And like I said, this is a, a huge, huge building. And like I said, this one used to be called the, uh, the Morven Care Centre. And like I said, you can see, it's, you know, it looks a, a great building, but sadly, you know, the, uh, the owners called it a day on this one. And uh, like I said, work was being carried out. It looks like that's come to a, a bit of a halt now. So I wonder what's going to uh, happen to this one. So what we're going to do, we're going to end the video on a really lovely spot, which is uh, what I want to show you. And it's absolutely magnificent. So what we're going to do, we're going to drive up to there. And we go past the, uh, the cinema and uh, all sorts in Cleveland. And this is a... Uh, this is a nice little one, you know, all the, uh, the cobbled, cobbled road. It's, uh, it's really nice, a little bit, a little bit bumpy. But, you know, you don't get potholes in these old roads. So, yeah, this is, uh, it's one of my sort of go-to spots, this one. It's really nice just to, uh, to relax and just unwind and take the, uh, amazing views in so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna drive to there and uh, and just show you that yeah the 
there's some fantastic hotels and little guest houses and a lot of these are private houses but just imagine the, yeah, the view you'd get of the sea you know on that stormy night or that wonderful sunrise or sunset it's, uh, it's incredible so on the uh, the right hand side we've got the uh, the view cinema and we got a uh, a gym also and there's a, there's a lovely little uh, pub as well just on the, uh, the right hand side and looks like that one's for sale so I'll have a quick look on the way back because that used to be really nice so one of the, it used to be the Jubilee Park so I'm going to have a, a quick look at that one on the way back that's a, that's a shame that one's uh, closed down Looks like there's something happening with the uh, the boats today. This is a uh, two or three boats being uh, being launched. Looks like so. How they're going to be taking in the views? Yeah, what a shame about that little uh, that little pub just near the cinema. That's uh, that's quite disappointing to be fair. Yeah, this is a this is a fantastic little spot, and the houses along here they're, they're really incredible. Each one is designed to the you know the own spec, and some huge flats as well. And uh, yeah, like I said, just uh, just imagine the views, waking up or going to sleep on that that wonderful picturesque scene over the uh, over the sea. So this is the uh, one of my favourite spots. It's really, really nice, and like I said, it's uh, free to park, and uh, it's just uh, an absolutely spectacular view overlooking the sea. So let's jump out of the car and go and have a bit of a look. How tranquil does this look? I don't think you're going to get a better view. That is, uh, is really, really amazing. Like I said, some of these properties are absolutely wonderful. You see the the sea certainly gets into them, so if you don't keep on top of the uh, the maintenance, you certainly pay the price. But just look at that one. I mean, you know, the, uh, they've got a little balcony, they've got all sorts, just overlooking the uh, overlooking the sea. Like I say, these properties, they must go for a small fortune. And they stretch all the way along the, uh, the promenade in Cleveland. And you can just see in the distance, that's one of the, uh, the boats being launched and how amazing is that the sea is like glass there's not really a wave in sight and that is uh, that is spectacular how wonderful to spend your sunday morning just scuttling along the sea you know you can go all the way to uh to south pier if you wanted to bit of fishing wow that is uh that is amazing that's certainly a dream come true So the uh, the fair table, the Jubilee Park, it looks like this one is up to let. And uh, yeah, last time I was here, it was actually operational several years ago. And you can see now, it's, uh, it's completely boarded up. So yeah, we'll have a, a quick look around this one. What a shame. This used to be a great little food place. And you can just see you know, how, the, uh, how the elements have battered this one away. There's, there's those smashed windows, there's slates off the roof. What a shame, because this, you know, used to be sort of a, a little hive of activity, people enjoying the drink on that decking. You see, they've got a wonderful outside area, taking them views in. 
What a shame, what an absolute crying shame. So yeah, just have a, a bit of a close look. You can see, like I said, the, uh, the slates off that side of the roof. And it certainly needs a, a bit of work doing to that. You can just see the top left hand side of the roof. And uh, yeah, it's such a shame. Like I said, a lovely, lovely location, lovely building. And you know, it's sadly gone. You know, I'd imagine this possibly might have been like a smoker's area back in the day. But yeah, you can just see it's all, uh, it's all chained up and locked up. Again, you know, another, another smash window. It's just up there. Like I said, it's a, it's a prime location. You know, we're right next door to the cinema in Cleveland. So I'd imagine, you know, they'll just pan the camera around to the, uh, to the right. And the, uh, this is the, uh, the car park to the, uh, the view cinema located in Cleveland. You can just see, you know, how busy it is. Look at that. So they've got the, uh, the gym there, so I imagine a lot of people, I mean, even if you use the gym, you can get like a, your sparkling water or your still water and have a bit of a bite to eat. And that's the, that's the view cinema. And again, a huge, huge complex. But yeah, just pan the camera around to the, uh, to the right. And like I said, it's such a, such a shame with this building, uh, which is sadly gone. So there we go, we've got another little robot. So we've got one or a couple just near the Genting Casino. And this is a, a different one. So it's got a little solar panel, all sorts on this one. So we know whether these are actually operational or uh, just a deterrent. But yeah, we've got one we've got lo located here as well. So it looks like uh, another one is gonna be launched into the sea. And uh, here it comes being towed by the, uh, the tractor. We go another one being launched. You can see all the uh, all the fishing rods in the back, and uh, let's hope we have a, a bit of a good catch. So they're heading down now to the uh, to the coastline. You see all the uh, all the dog walkers and, like I said, a wonderful, wonderful little spot. So you see a, a little bit of developing going on, development shall I say. And just look at these huge, huge rocks. Where on earth have they come from? Look at the size of them. You know, they could build a pyramid with those. Look at them, they're massive. Look at that, we could have our, our very own pyramid. In fact, we've even got the, at the tip of the pyramid. There we go. But that's, uh, that's some project, so be interesting to see what's going on with this one. And just look at this one. So whoever set fire to this wasn't happy with the, uh, the car park charges or did they get a ticket? Look at that, so the whole of the bin has completely been burnt out. And even the machine is being set light to the screen Everything's been got out and burnt out. Well, I never, well, I never. It just shows, you know, what lengths some people will go to. So I hope you enjoyed that bit of a walk through, bit of a drive through Cleveland. It just gives you a bit more of an, an insight if you do fancy, um, you know, visiting the wonderful place. Um, so yeah, if you're new to the channel, you do like the, uh, the content, hit that subscribe button, helps the channel out, hit the like button, any comments I will try to get back to you. And until next time, take care and it's a bye from me. Bye bye.